Hi, it's Scott Felser. Um, this is episode two of our garter snake videos, and this is of the Plains garter snakes. This is a double hat high red bred to an Iowa albino. This is the same thing. This is a high red Plains from Kansas. This is a high red from an unknown locality. This is a red hypo found in Illinois, very unusual snake. This is a offspring from the red hypo. This is an Iowa albino plains. Another picture of the Iowa albino plains. This is a Nebraska albino. This is offspring from that Nebraska albino. This is a Christmas Plains, pretty colors, high orange. This is a super Christmas Plains. This shows extreme coloration in the uh, Christmas Plains variation. So very, very pretty snake, one of my favorites. I love the orange dot in the nose. This is the original male found in Iowa. This is a Nebraska albino bred to a high red. This is also one of my favorites. I love the amount of red in it. It's the varying colors. This is a Nebraska albino with a double hat Nebraska albino. This is an anarthristic with a uh, white swaths throughout the body. Very unique. This is an anarthristic plains. This is a hybino plains. This is produced from breeding a hypo to an albino, the Iowa albino. This is a snow bino. This is from a snow bred to a hybino. Same thing. This is a what I call an Aztec garter, very unusual pattern found in Illinois. This is a Nebraska snow plains. This is from breeding a Nebraska albino to an anarthristic and then breeding the resulting double heads back to each other. Iowa snow plains, these are produced from breeding Iowa albinos to anarthristics and breeding the resulting double hats back to one another. And this is a blizzard. And these are produced from breeding uh, plains, the albino to the exanthic. This is a from a double hat cross um, from a snow bred to a double hat. This is an exanthic plains. You can see the blue on the underbelly and then the light green dorsal stripe. This is another brood of babies from a double hat to double hat cross. 